we've come to require passion in our culture of ourselves and of our employees. It's become a symbol for good value. I recently heard that our society demands the performance of extroversion. It made me see that passion can sometimes disguise itself as a performance of extroversion. Think of how often we feel we must behave extrovertedly to pass as dedicated, passionate, or good enough. We rely on that performance to determine who would be an excellent hire or who is going to be the most committed. It is so unfair for introverts because it means that they are tired all the time from performing and masking their true selves at the same time. Here's how it happened for me. Almost 20 years ago, I was told that I didn't want it enough to be a conductor. And still to this day, I hear those words in my head and it plagues me. I always gave my 1000%. I just don't understand how I could have possibly wanted it more. I didn't have any more to give. Now I realize that I interpreted not wanting it enough as not dedicated or not passionate enough which in my mind meant hard work, focus, thoughtfulness, and persistence. Unfortunately, that may not be what wanting it enough meant at that time for that person. What it probably referred to was not enough performance of extroversion. It now makes sense to me why I never measured up all those years ago. As an introvert, I was naturally bad at extroversion, and therefore at the performance of extroversion. Yes, our society demands the performance of extroversion, and we will probably never be able to change that. What we can do is equally demand to see passion in introverted clothes as well. Here are some ways we might be able to spot introverted passion. Depth of focus. Thoughtful expression in writing and also in spoken word. Persistent effort private enthusiasm that is on the inside, observational engagement where someone takes note of what they see and apply it, or one-on-one connection where someone thrives in a one-on-one engagement. Do these traits remind you of anyone? As leaders, we can validate the ways their passion manifests we can give them the permission to not have to perform extroversion in order to be seen as passionate. And they will be grateful for it, as my 20-year-old self would have been. My name is Tiffany Chang, and this is Conductor as CEO, where I'm curious about ideas from other industries and how they may apply to our growth as arts leaders. If these ideas resonate with you, please consider signing up in the link below to receive an email with each new blog post sent directly to your inbox. Thank you and have a great day.